happy to have you guys here. So let's go ahead and get with a couple introductions. So in the next coming weeks, we have some really amazing people coming on and experts in their field. Uh, Francesca Telesco, she is a therapy, uh, she is a therapist at a school up in up New, Upper New York. I can't, I've had all kinds of coffee craziness going on. She is a mental health therapist for high school children up in the state of New York. She also has a therapy dog named Joy, beautiful golden retriever who is bringing love and light and acceptance to all the students in her school district. So she will be coming on to discuss the importance of therapy animals and being able to utilize animals to make yourself feel better. So we're really excited to be talking to her about this. Now, next week after we talk to Francesca, we are also going to be talking to Kira, who is also a licensed social worker who sees that there is such an importance for therapy for self-regulation and wonderful techniques that we can use in conjunction with animals, uh, meditation practices, all kinds of beautiful things that we can do to really take care of our mental health and wellness. Now, if you're new and you're just joining in, I am live all over the place. I'm on Real to Real Broadcasting. We're on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We're on TikTok. We're all over the place right now. So we are just, we're here to enjoy. We're here to bring light and love into your life. So Goose is taking a nap right now with our little Miss Luna. If you are followers of us on TikTok, you will know that Goose has a personality all of his own. He is fun. He is fancy. He is very, very personable. Now, one of the things that we like to do, uh, Goose goes for car rides. Goose comes with me all over the place. He's got a little spot in my bedroom that I, I have for him. So Goose can keep us company. And he came to be this special animal for us because back when he was four months old, he and his partner Maverick, Goose and Maverick from Top Gun, uh, were attacked by a fox in our backyard and we fortunately lost Maverick. And when we lost Maverick, Goose was injured and pretty traumatized. So he had an injury to his wing. He had an injury to his leg. And if you watch him in his in the videos right now, you'll see that there's there's a limp. So he became a house duck for us. And over the last few years, he has just become a very valued, valued pet. I'm struggling without the coffee. I, I, you know, so it has really been a, a journey of self-discovery that we've been on. And we have really come to realize how important animals are to our mental health and wellness and how much we can be ourselves around them and how much of them of them <laughs> they can put into us. You know, there's so much we can learn from animals. And I think that that has been what this journey for us has been about is learning to really be able to tap into the simplicity of an animal's mindset and take that on as our own. We live in a world today that is overrun with technology and complexity. And there's so much that we can do right now to just sit back, relax, and really just enjoy life. And we don't do that. We don't take chance to just step back. So as we are, are learning from Goose, our intention is to show how you can take on the mindset of a duck and really start living your best life. So that's what we're all about. And what we're going to be doing over the next course of however long this broadcast is going to be going on, uh, we're hoping to be here for a long time. We are hoping to change your outlook on life by giving you hope by giving you a safe place to be. We're hoping to encourage you to live your best life and to live 
life with the utmost of passion. Because what of yourself are you not tapping into? Because you're afraid, because you're living in fear and anxiety. And when you can shift your mindset to that of an animal, where you are enjoying the present, you are trusting the present moment, you're able to start seeing a shift in your life that is is magical, for lack of a better word, it's magical. And we are so, so excited to be able to present all this to you guys. So one of the things that we do is we are going to be incorporating hot topics of the year of the moment, going in and examining what we can learn from it and approaching it in the mindset of a duck. Now, some of the things we go into a lot of this in our courses and our coursework. Um, I'm, I'm a mental mental health mentor, and we really enjoy being able to hold space for people to help you walk through some of the issues that you might be having as far as fear and anxiety and allowing you to feel that in a way that is genuine, but allows you to move forward in a healthy way. So all the topics that we're going to be talking about are going to have to do with mental health. They're going to have to do with self-care. They're going to have to do with allowing yourself to feel and healthy ways to process things. We all process things differently, but if you take the mindset of a duck, things shake them up. There's no offense or buts. Things will shake them up a little bit, but at the same time, there's a certain point where they move forward. So if we can learn to take on that mindset and allow ourselves the grace and the trust and acceptance to be able to learn what we need to learn and move forward to really enjoy life, that is, that's our utmost mission. So I'm really excited to have you guys here. So we have special sponsors. So right now we have three three sponsors. We've got Apex Pheromones, which is a pheromone company. They are some of the highest ranked pheromone company in in the industry. Uh, they've been in business for about 10 years and have some of the highest rated products. Highly recommend it. Uh, ApexPheromone.com. So they're our first sponsor. We also have A Plus Assistants uh, based out of New Jersey. Kim is a virtual assistant and she runs a whole slew of virtual assistant products, packages and everything for you. So she will help any business owners if you're you're struggling in uh, the administrative stuff in your business. My girl Kim will be able to help you guys out. So those are a couple of sponsors. We also have Enlightened Energy, and we've got a few other sponsors in the works. So we're, we are accepting sponsors. We're looking for people in mental health and wellness. We're looking for fitness industry. We're, we're looking in animal care in the animal industries. Uh, we're looking to expand the concept of self-care and make it normal for us to be able to put ourselves first, to be able to care for the people ahead of us, you know, especially if you work in the animal industry and the farming industry and the agricultural, you cannot show up for your animals. You cannot show up for your kids. You cannot show up for your family unless you take care of yourself first, right? So that is what this is all going to be about. Uh, those are some of the people that we are looking for as sponsors. So if you wish to sponsor, we are happy to discuss with you. But if you also want to be a, a, a guest on our podcast, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at christine.degenero, D-E-G-E-N-N-A-R-O, at christinede.com. Email me and we'll set something up. You can either be a sponsor, you can be a podcast interviewee. I would love to have you guys here on the podcast with us. So again, if you're new and you're just joining us, I'm Christine DiGennaro. You are witnessing the first ever episode of the Coffee with Christine and Goose show. Goose is taking a nap with his little friend Luna in the kitchen, and I am hosting live on Real to Real Broadcasting. So some of the things that we've been seeing in the news lately, 
uh, one of the things that really gets gets to my heart is during the football game the other night, having to witness something like that. Um, only heard about it. I I didn't I didn't watch it, but I know that things like that give us moments of clarity. Those are moments that define us as people. Those are moments that wake us up to the life that we're living. It makes us second guess how we're how we're approaching life. So I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about what you're doing in your day to day. And if there's one thing that you can improve, I want you to really sit and think about that. Is there one thing that if Tomorrow was your last day. What is one thing you would do today for yourself and for the people around you? And I want you to do that thing. You know, I life is so short and we take it for granted. And it's so important that every single day we show up as the first person. All we have to do, all we have to aim for is to be just a little bit better than we were yesterday. Always do better. Always be willing to learn. Always be willing to see how you can up-level yourself. You know, it's easy to get stuck. I do it all the time. I get stuck all the time. So I think that this is going to be so important and so valuable for for a lot of our listeners, for a lot of my my viewers, you know, this is mental health doesn't discriminate. There's no, it affects everyone. Your mental health, everyone, race, creed, gender, it doesn't matter who you are, what you believe, your mental health and the mental health of others is one of the most important topics that we can be talking about here and now. And in this 2023. Can you believe it's already 2023? I don't know how that happened, when that happened, but I'll tell you what, we are looking forward to what this whole year has to bring. So we are currently accepting sponsors. We are currently accepting a uh, podcast guest. If you want to be a guest member, uh, just feel free, shoot me a message, shoot me an email. There's so many different ways to get a hold of me um, through the website, everything. We're looking for people in mental health uh, and, and wellness. Uh, so licensed therapists, psychologists, um, we're looking for yoga people, meditation practitioners. We're looking for animal care specialist. So we can tie in. Uh, we have a special guest who's coming on in the next couple of days who will be doing, um, she'll be talking about her therapy dog. She's got a beautiful dog named Joy, who is a therapy dog, who is helping kids in high school process their emotions and giving them a safe space. So tying in mental health and animals is something that we are so entirely passionate about, and we cannot wait to grow with you guys and bring you guys these special guests and be able to just embrace everything that life has to offer. You know, again, life is too short. If you approach it the way an animal does, let's break it. We're, we're going to kind of go into some of the stuff that I usually say for my classes. So but tonight, this is our first ever episode, so we're just kind of doing whatever works tonight. But we are going to talk about having faith and faith in, in the leader. We talk about how your mind dictates how you act. Switching things up sometimes doesn't do very well, especially if you're a duck. Ducks don't like change. People don't like change. Ducks are social animals. We're social creatures as well. There's so much that we can align people and ducks and other animals too. But it gives us a really cool mindset and a cool approach to being able to show you how it's okay and how other animals actually do things and take care of themselves and how that's important and how it works out in nature and how it's going to work out for us. You know, I think we forget that we have the permission to, to do that. We have permission to, to take care of ourselves. 
In fact, we should, you, you know, the thing with the mask when you're on an airplane and you're traveling and for whatever reason, the oxygen changes in the cabin and the mask come down. They always tell you to put on your mask first, right? That's because you can't help the person next to you if you can't help yourself. If you're having difficulty breathing and you pass out, you can't help the person next to you. So it is so important for you to be able to do that. So hopefully this is going to be some of the stuff that we're going to end up talking about. We're going to be talking to experts. We're going to be talking to therapists. We're going to be talking to uh, health and fitness people on how to stay motivated, how to stay uplifted uh, during turbulent times. You know, we just, we're getting over the holidays. And I think that a lot of us either we're dealing with very heavy emotions during the holidays, but also a lot of us were dealing with the aftermath and the crash down. So you had all this stuff happen during the holidays and now you got to process it. So we're going to give you some tools over the next couple months to really be able to walk through and process things in a healthy way. Uh, we're going to be talking to experts. We're, we're going to be getting a lot of insight. You know, this is the Coffee with Christine and Goose show. And Goose is pretty good at talking and motivating me. And I know he's going to be good at motivating you guys when he wakes up because he's taking a nap. But we are we're really excited. You know, this is um, this is a big moment for us. This is a big moment for Goose. And it's a big moment for everyone in the audience, too. You know, again, mental health is something that we take for granted until some, until we have a crisis to handle, until we have an issue that we have to overcome. And if we don't have the tools to work through that, and we don't have the mindset capabilities to work through that, we end up developing coping mechanisms that aren't healthy, that we pass down to other, uh, to our family members, that we trigger another, the, there's all kinds of ways that this cascades down, kind of like the domino effect where you start off with one thing and everything else rolls through. So we are really excited to bring everything that we know and all the stuff that we don't know to share with you guys. So as of right now, let me see. I'm just going to take a quick peek over here, see if we have any questions from anyone. I know we've had a few people follow. We've had a few people like. So thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who's been joining. Now, where is that? All right. So again, we do have several sponsors. Uh, I want to thank Apex Pheromones for being one of our first sponsors, as well as A Plus Assistance. And we are going to be continuing to grow and reaching out to sponsors, looking at people in mental health. We're looking for people in animal industries, uh, farming, agriculture, anything where you are a business person and you have to deal with day to day things. We want to talk to you about how you're going, how you're processing through your, your stress. Uh, so I have, I have one girl who I'm going to be interviewing and I'm really excited. My friend Jenna, and she is phenomenal. She is smart. She's brilliant. She's got her own business. She just got a job working as an engineer and there is so much stress on her shoulders as a mom on top of all of it. And we're going to talk to her and find out the ways that she thinks that she's doing well and things that she feels that she's struggling with, because I'm a hundred percent certain that you guys will be able to relate to that. So we are now, and you know what? One of the things that I always like to do at the beginning of these shows, and I completely forgot to do it. I like to set the intention. So this this whole show is just kind of us introducing what to expect over the next couple of weeks, over the next few months, over the next couple of years, maybe. We'll see. I would love that. But one of the things that I like to do is set the intention for the episode. It gives us an idea and a perspective to approach and view. Uh, and the word of the day is momentum. Gaining traction, moving forward, being able to 
aim and hit your targets. That is such a powerful word because being able to move forward signifies that you're not stuck, even if it's just one step forward. And that is the key of what we're trying to, to teach you, what we're trying to inspire in you. So what does this have to do with Goose? It's got a whole lot to do with Goose. Uh, thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that. So we are, we're hoping hoping to inspire you. We're hoping to teach you things that you know you already know, but we're going to inspire you to take action and small, like not huge life-changing actions right away. That, that's, that's really the ticket. You don't change, you don't move mountains in one shot. You move it pebble by pebble, right? You move it one rock at a time. And this is what we do. We show you and we give you the space to hold on to your beliefs in a way that serves you and to release the beliefs that are holding you back and to show you that each day you have the opportunity, you have the chance to do one small thing for yourself, to change your life little by little. Small actions always lead up to bigger ones always lead to big changes. In a year from now, 365 days of doing one small thing for yourself is going to lead up to incredible, incredible, beautiful things. And this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. And we're going to show you how. We're going to hold space for you. We are going to be here to encourage you, to guide you, to bring you the experts on the topics that are important to you. We're going to show you different ways to handle stress, different ways to handle grief, different ways to handle relationship problems, financial problems. We're here to guide you. This is not the be all end all. We don't always have all the answers. We more likely don't always have all the answers, but we are discussing it with you, for you, and to help guide you. So this is our first ever broadcast. I'm really excited about this. And if you are new and you are watching, I'm Christine DeGenero. This is the Coffee with Christine and Goose. I am sipping on my coffee. I don't know if you can tell because I am all wound excited. Uh, we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants tonight, but I cannot wait for the next few weeks, next few months, next couple of years that we have some really great people coming on that I cannot wait to have you sit and listen because Francesca is amazing. Kira is awesome. Jenna is a rock star. And that's only a fraction of the people who are going to be coming to you to talk to you about mental health, animals, and how to combine it all and to make it work for your life. That's the other thing, too is all the stuff that we tell you might not work for you. That's where it comes in that you find inspiration in what we're saying. That's the opportunity for you to learn to grow. And that's what we want for you. We want to inspire you to grow in love and caffeination. Lots of, lots of coffee. So... Momentum. Momentum was the key word of today. What I always like to try to close these out with one action that you can take, one thought you might be able to shift for yourself. And even if it's just for tonight, what is one thing that you can do for yourself today that will start creating the momentum for you to become the best version of yourself? Maybe it's drinking more water. Maybe it's cutting back on all the excessive spending. Maybe it's taking a little bit more time for yourself. Maybe reading. Is there a book that you want to read? We encourage reading all the time. You only grow and you only gain momentum when you push yourself yourself just a little bit further outside your comfort zone. And that doesn't happen until you take inspired action. 
And we're going to do a whole show on inspired action because that is something that is just evil. We love talking about spiritual, um, not religious. I don't do religious, but I do spiritual. Finding something that you truly believe in, whether it's it is a religion or if it's a cause that's bigger than you. Uh, we're we're going to be talking to a woman who rests animals. And that's her cause and that's her mission. And for her to be able to connect and give back in the name of people who've passed. She names these animals that she rescued after people who have passed. And it's such a beautiful sentiment to be able to connect your beliefs into something bigger than yourself. Just a little bit bigger than you. So we talk about all kinds of woo and energy and all kinds of stuff, but taking with the intent, whatever you do has to fit in your life. Whatever we discuss, it's a jumping point. It's your starting point. This is for you to be inspired. This is for you to be encouraged and loved and cherished. This is the opportunity for you to feel cherished because I think a lot of us forget how special we are. A lot of us forget how important we are to people in our lives. And I want every single one of you who is listening and who has been here tonight, you are special, you are loved, you are cherished, and there is so much great stuff ahead. And I'm really excited to have you join us and be with us over the next however long we're going to be doing this. I'm really excited. All right. Now, final wrap up. So we've got just a little bit left. I want to invite you to be a sponsor or I want you to jump on and message me and let's get talking so I can have you on here as a guest. If you specialize in mental health and wellness, uh, animals, agriculture, anything having to do with self-care and expertise in taking care of yourself mentally and physically, let's talk. I want you on the podcast. I want us to combine our superpowers and show other people it's okay to practice self-love. It's necessary. All right. So make sure you join us every week. We're going to live on Saturday and make sure you join us for your weekly dose of love and caffeination on the Coffee with Christine and Goose show. Next week, actually this Saturday, we're going to have Goose with us. So it'll be our own special guest. All right. Thank you all so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching, joining. Make sure you like it, love it, share it, spread the message across the world. Love you. Alrighty. Okay. All right, all. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining. I definitely appreciate you. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, but you guys are, are so appreciated. And thank you so much for joining me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was, that was a lot. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, and that, that was like, not that do what? So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. And next time I will have a little bit more prepared. It was just kind of like, a, well, let's see what happens, but.
we are. Yep, I'm here. Yep, there we are. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and, and I will actually be a little bit more prepared next time, so there's not going to be the constant repeating people. Yeah. Yes. So, and as I said, up. <laughs> so I'll be, uh, as I said, I, I, I've got a, a, a handful of people already lined up that we're going to be doing some, uh, some chatting with, and that's really good stuff, so. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be great. That would be so much fun. Yes. Totally. Oh my God. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, between the mental health and the animal, I mean, it's we're we're hitting people in all levels. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and as I said, we've been, uh, I've got a few potential sponsors that I'm supposed to be meeting up with and calling and everything, so hopefully we get the ball going on that. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, that's why I figured out, like, I'll put it out there and anyone wants to sponsor, that would be cool. <laughs> Right. Oh, man. So who's the platform for the, is it so GoDaddy or did you guys pull from GoDaddy? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely understand. I know we're, I'm having issues with my own website um, all of a sudden because they, they're not taking payment. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's like, oh. Of all times to be doing this, like <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I, I expected. So that that actually worked really well. So um yeah.